through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Respect, right? All praise to the most high. So don't worry about that. I'm talking to you. Why can't hold on? Don't worry about you. I'm trying to get that cigarette out your life, brother. Right. I'm trying to get that out your life, brother, because at the end of the day, and hey, get a brother a hand. Put that cigarette out and, and, and don't put any more. Uh, get a brother a hand, man. This is good. This is good. Brother, hold pack away, brother, because we see you teaching God's word, but you can't teach God's word with smoke in your lungs, brother. Hey, hey, but you know God will kill you as well, right? A war, right? He's justice and peace. We don't hate you, but you an Israelite, brother. But your nationality is, a, is an Israelite. You see what I'm saying? So we gotta have love for each other. That's right. Get a brother a hand. Get a brother a hand. So, so what does it mean for you? You're an Israelite. No, no, I'm not an Israelite. So, what's your nationality? My nationality is that I'm a black man. That's respect. And you know what? That's respectful, right? I can respect that. But your skin's not black, brother. Right? You're, you're brown. You're melanated. But your, but your nation, right? The nation you go back to is an Israelite. That's what we're saying. You go back to God's chosen, like you said, the black man is God's chosen. So that will make you right. Aren't that you? All right. So now we're trying to tell you, brother. Hey, I need some leaders. Hey, real quick. Hey, let's get order. Hey, let's get order real quick. Let's get some leaders real quick, right? So what we're trying to teach you, brother, is that as as God, give me First Corinthians three and sixteen. I'm gonna teach you how to teach how to treat your body, brother, right? And, and, and you got zeal, right? You got you got a lot of zeal behind you. You got a lot of passion, brother. We see you at the park. You know what I'm saying? And we and we saw you with your shirt off, right? Foaming at the mouth, right? That's all love, brother, right? And, and, and we just say that because we brothers. We can talk like this. Okay. But, but as an Israelite, as, a, as God's chosen, how do you teach? And then you're like, if someone, if I'm, if I'm one of your students, right? And I saw you, what's your name, brother? Quentin, my name is Dana. You can call me Rob, right? What I'm asking you, brother, is if I saw Quentin walking up and down the street with a cigarette and I was your follower, how would, how would that make you feel as a teacher? You know, it would make you feel better. That's right. We're going to show you that. That's right. That's right. Read that. 
The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. We're the temple of God, right, Quentin? You see that? We're the temple of God, right? Read on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God. We all agree that smoke defiles the temple, right, Quentin? Right, so if we defile the temple, right, read. Him shall God destroy. Him shall what? Him shall God destroy. So is God all love and he's killing folks for destroying their own temple? New Testament. You know, brother, I've Okay, all praises. Okay. No, no, we're in hell now. No, listen, 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 real quick. Hell means death, right? So, so when we go out here and you go on Raleigh Boulevard, you go on MLK, you go to Baltimore, you go to uh, wherever, right? You see us, New York, you don't see us in a different state. We're in hell, we're in hell. We're living in hell. So when you say we don't believe, we believe in hell because we're living it. We're a product of hell. Don't worry about white people, brother. That's what I'm saying. So, brother, hold on. Why, hold on. Why, why do you say we don't, we should hate all white people? But what about what God says? We don't say skin complexion. Here's, listen, to, to make things better for you, we say we hate the nation of Edom. We hate the Edomite. We're not saying anybody white. We're saying that Eve, because nobody white. We're saying we hate the Edomite, the, the people of Edom, because God hates the people of Edom. Hold on, did you hear me though? God hates Edomites. Do you, do you believe that? Real quick, do you believe that God hates the Edomite? So if we showed you that God hates the Edomite, will you will you will you concede? Didn't God say that? No, no, no. We didn't say the white man. We didn't say the white man. Bob, how about watch this? Bob Marty's an Edomite. We hate him. He's an Edomite. He don't look like a white boy. But his father's an Edomite, which makes him an Edomite. I'm going to show you what Christ Yeah, that's fine But, but yeah, but we got love for each other That's why I told you to put the cigarette out Love is for each other That's right And that's love But he not having us have love For all these other nations That's what we're saying Because I'm going to show you what you got uh, Second Ezra chapter five verse nine. Uh, Salakis six verse nine. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows." So when we say Esau is the end of the world, we're talking about an Edomite. It, it don't matter what your complexion is, right? It's the nation of Edom, right? Now let's get that in Malachi one, right? Where where, where it said Jacob have I? Uh, it said I hated Esau. Right? The most I said I hated Esau. I'm gonna show you what God said that. It ain't our words, Brother Quentin. It's what God said. Right? We don't we don't just sit out here and talk, talk, talk. We're gonna show you. The book of Malachi, chapter one, verse one. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel. To Israel. The burden of the Lord is going to the Israelites. That's you. That's this brother right here. That's this sister right here. Y'all are Israelites. Come here to word. By Malachi. By Malachi. I have loved you. I have loved you. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel. I have loved you. You who's the you? It's the Israelites, right? So God said, so here's the thing, don't struggle with God. Just let this happen, brother Quentin. Just let it happen, brother. Right? So he said, I love you, Jacob, right? Quick. Say it, Yahweh. Say it, Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Say it, Yahweh. Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. I hated Esau. What did, what did God say? I said, why did he say he hated Esau? So does God hate Esau? All praises to the Most High. 
You gotta accept that, right? Okay. And this is all we do. So all we do. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh. Esau literally trying to fight against the Most High God. That's why he hates them, because they're rebellious against him. Here's the, here's the kicker right here. Are you ready for the kicker? Are you ready for the kicker, brother? All right, here we go. Thus saith Yahweh, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. That's why he hates the Edomite, the, the Esau, right? Because they are the border of wickedness. Right? Come on. And the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. What is indignation? Is that good or bad? It's bad, right? So the Most High has indignation to them for here's that, here's that big part forever. Uh huh. Brother, brother, here's the thing, though, right? He did to do what? No, he he caused he called for us to come together and then to kill the other nations. Look at that, brother Clint. Look at that. Who did that? Well, who's the masters? That's, brother, don't say it. Say it, say it with your chest, man. It was the white man. It was the white man, brother Clint, right? Right. That's right. That's right. That's why the most high indignation. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right, brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right, brother. That's right, that's right. Who? No, but, but what nation of the world gave you white Jesus? The white man. Eat him. That's the indignation that the Most High has against them. So, so why are we trying to get together with guys like Dylan Roof? Why? Right? Because they, every time we try to have a kumbaya moment, what do they do to us? They kill us. You see what I'm saying? And we don't want you to be a, 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 a casualty of war because you want to go hand in hand with them. He's going to get vengeance against, what's, against what they did to us, brother. We're not trying to do it. Not right now. And listen, we'll never do it right now until the Messiah comes back and gives us the power. And you know what? When the Messiah gives us the power, it's on and cracking in. Right now, do you want to be a part of that, brother? Let, let me ask you a question. Give me Revelation 2 or 25. Let me see. Do you want this, brother, brother Quentin? Let me see if you want this, right? You, you believe in the Messiah, right? All right, let me, let me show you what the Messiah gave you. A, a, so, so I'm going to show you what Christ said. Who crucified him? White men. Right. But who, but who put him up there? Who put him up there and, and literally uh, uh, defiled our king? The white man, right? All right. So watch this. Let me show you, brother Quentin. Are you ready for this? The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 25. Come on. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. come on. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So we got to keep Christ's works unto the end. Right? You, you understand that, Brother Quinn? We got to keep Christ's works unto the end. Read. 
To him will I give power over the nation. You're gonna have power over the what? Over the nation. Brother Quentin, do you want power over the nations? That's right. Over who though? The nations, right? So the Edomite, correct? The white man, correct? Do you want to have power over the white man? The white man was going to be over the Mexican man? Hold on, brother, real quick. No, but the black and the Mexican are brothers over. Right now. Read it again. He's going, it's going to change. It's going to change. It's going to change. Read it again. And he. I've been waiting 34 years for change. But have not changed. That's why I say he that endures to the end. But you're not waiting long enough. You're too, you're too antsy. You've got to wait. I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to ask a question. Hold the question. Do you see any white brothers? No. It's not for them. You know what it's not for them. It's not for them. I'll be here, brother. It's not for them. They're going to sleep. We out here for you. We're not out here for them. And look, look, look. We not out here for them. Because we getting we getting that cigarette out your hand. That's what we doing. We getting that cigarette. Listen, I'd rather be out here getting that cigarette out your hand than dealing with them. You see what I'm saying? I'd rather deal with you than them. They're a waste of time. That's right. They're, they're, they're less than. They're a punching bag. I really didn't want to talk to them. And I and you came. And my voice, my demeanor, my whole spirit slowed down to work with my brother, to be patient with you, right? And you put that cigarette out through the spirit of the Most High God. You see what I'm saying, brother? So read that again. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nation. You have power over the nation, over the nation's quit, but you gotta wait. You gotta have patience. You gotta put the fringes on and keep the laws, right, B? And that's the topic, is nation, the other nation. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. With what? With a rod of iron. So if I rule someone with a rod of iron, is that is that nice? Is that us coming together? That's right. Right, 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 right. But a sword. He caused division, right? You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the Most High God sent his son Yahushua to give us the power to have power over the nations, over these heathen. The world feels like we don't agree. You know what I'm saying? He said we don't agree. Then he said the world trying to just about. You know what I'm saying? All the hard, you know something they trying to turn all of the back. Who was the day? Who's who was they? The white brother. You gotta say it with some conviction. He said the white man. But listen, you came up to us battling our doctrine with, with boldness. Yeah. And you got you got brothers right here that's gonna protect you from all the entities, brother. You got men of the Lord out here that's gonna protect you. And you got the that's right. And you got the angels that's gonna protect you, brother. They go back to them homosexual women. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. And they got the money off of that, right? It's Tom Sawyer's uh, 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 uh. Black Lives Matter, brother. Black Lives Matter when you come back to the book. Listen, Black Lives Matter when we put the cigarette out, brother. That's Black Lives being mad. Black Lives Matter is brothers putting their fringes on and putting the pork away, right? Hey, we're going to show you why. All right, we'll show you. We're going to show you, brother, right? We kill each other. And that's the curse that the Most High God put on us to do that. Right, I'm going to show you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So how do we hearken to the voice of the Lord our God? How do we do it? You got to submit to his commandments, right? Watch this, read. If uh, will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to, to observe to do all his commandments, all his commandments, all his commandments. And his statutes, which, which I command thee this day, today, brother, 
right? And all these curses, all these curses, all these curses, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 54. So and listen again. Same same chapter. Chapter. Verse Lord. 54. Uh -huh. So that the man that is tender among you. So we used to be very tender amongst each other. You asked the question. You said, why is there black on black violence? If there was black lives really matter, why are we coming out here? Listen. Listen. Chill out. Chill out. Right? These guys. And these guys. Right? We got the spear. Read that again. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. His brother. His brother. Hey, brother Quentin, we just read the answer. Yeah, don't let Satan, don't let Satan do that what he doing. That's all he's doing, right? Verse 54, uh -huh. so that the man that is tender among you, so like I was saying, we used to very be very tender amongst each other. How you doing, brother? That's your wife and family and kids, beautiful family, wife and kids. We used to say all that. We used to be very cordial towards each other. We're trying to get back to that. It's the idea. This is why we're out here. This is why we're out here, right? We don't. That is tender among you and very delicate. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Our evil, our eye is evil toward our own brother. Now you in the club, somebody step on your shoes, now you wanna fight. Right? That's how we used to get that's how we get down now. Chicago, Coppin, New York, wherever the place is, right? Maryland, wherever the place is, you got black on black violence, right? That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. In Virginia, yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah, and that's, and that's generational curses we have by right now. That's right. Right, we shouldn't have been there though. Uh huh. No, 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 no. No, they wanted us to be indoctrinated with Christianity. That was the. What's wrong with it? Well, they teach against the Bible. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Christian, real quick, I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. The doctrine of Christianity is not the doctrine of the Bible. They're two different things. Christianity teaches you that Christ loves everybody. We read in the Bible where Christ is coming to kill certain nations. No, no, brother, hold on real quick. No, no, that's not, no, he didn't. The Bible don't say that. The Bible don't say that. What, what scripture says that? Show us. Hold on, hold on. I got something. Hey, go into John 3 16. Okay. I got you. I got you. Hold on. What does cosmos mean? Hold on, hold on. What is cosmos? No, cosmos means government. That's the Greek word. Government. Meaning a body of people. But that, no, no. There's a body of people. That's the government. Then there's people outside the government. So Christ died for the government of Israel. Did you know that Christ was quoting Isaiah? Did you know that? So, so we got to understand who was the world that Christ came to die for? Not, not, not seven continents. Hold on, real quick. Who's talking in John three? Who's talking? Who's who's talking in that in that chapter? No, no. Yeah. What I'm asking, you, right? But real quick, Quentin. Who was speaking in John chapter 3? Let's get context. I was in the spirit. This is John on the island of Patmos. It's okay if you don't know. Who, listen, Jesus Christ said, God so loved the world. Who was he telling that to? No, 
no, he was talking to another Israelite, a Jew. We're going to show you. We're going to show you who he was talking to. Read it. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 1. This is the, the context. There was a man of the Pharisees. The Pharisees are Jews, right? So you have a Pharisee, of the, a man of the Pharisees, a Jew, right? Read. Named Nicodemus. Nicodemus is a Jew. Okay. A ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night. The same came to Jesus by night. That's the context, you have a man of the Jews named Nicodemus, and then you have who? Jesus Christ, correct? Two, two Jews. Okay, all praises. And said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. So, 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 now that we understand, I'm a guardian 16. I'm a guardian 16. He's talking about be born again. Be, by, by what? By the Spirit. How, how are you born by the Spirit? By, but, 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 but what, what do you got to do to be born again? And what, and what is sin? What is, what is sin? No, that's not sin. Sin is not that. Sin is the transgress. Watch, we're going to show you what sin The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. By definition, what is sin, Brother Quentin? Against the law. Hold on, let's, let's not move it. Let's not move the goalpost. I understand what you're trying to say. I don't want to go there yet. I still want to deal with your John 3.16. We deal with these things very decently. We're very strategic on how we talk to our people. All right, so let's go right back. And in order, right? Yeah, that's not I, I, out of order. That's why they don't need the book. All right, so watch this. So now let's go to John 3, verse 14. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, in the wilderness. So who was with Moses in the wilderness when they lifted up the serpent? Who was with him there? No, but what people group? Who was there? What nation? Israel was, was with them, right? So read again. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So the same, let's get Numbers 21 and 8. I'm going to go back to the account. So the same way, Brother Quentin, that Moses was lifted up the serpent for the wilderness, I mean for the Israelites in the wilderness, the same way must the Son of Man be lifted up. Does that make sense? So the same way that, that, that oh, let's read it real quick. I'm, I don't want to talk. I want to show you. The book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 6, we start at verse 6. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much of the people of Israel died. So Israelites were dying because the Most High spent, spent, uh, sent fiery serpents on the Israelites, right? Now watch this, read. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. For we have sinned. For we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. Now Moses had to intercede and pray to the Most High God for the Israelites, right? Because they were being bitten by fiery serpents and they were dying because they were in sin. I Meaning they were breaking the laws of God. All right, all praise. Read on. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. Make thee a fiery serpent. So the Most High told Moses to make a fiery serpent, right? Read. And set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone. Who's everyone? Who's everyone? Right hand of the one sitting on the cloud. No. So everyone is the Israelites. You said it, the world, 
is the Israelites. That's the cosmos, the government. Make thee a fiery serpent and set it and set it upon a pole that it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten when he looketh upon it shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. Brass that we're talking about is, is the symbolization of Jesus Christ. All right, now let's go right back to John 3 and 14. So now that we get the context, the people we're talking about are Israelites. Read on. And Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. For the same reason why Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness for the Israelites, like you said, same thing, the same reason shall the Son of Man be lifted up. You, you with me? So he's, he's there for who? Oh, pray, he's there for the Israelites. Oh, pray. So when you go to John 3, 16, it's for the Israelites. That's a whole different conversation. So, 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 so the, the, the what's the first, what's the first law? I, I, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Question. Let me ask you a question. The first, the first law is what? To know that God exists, right? So, do, so now that the law is done away with, can I believe in another God? So I don't have to believe in Jesus. Hold on. Listen to my question. You said the laws are done away with. I get that. I get that. Brother, brother, brother Quentin, I'm asking the question. You said the laws are done away with. The first law is know that there is a God. So is that done away with? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Can I break the law and b believe it that, that can I be an atheist now? So we can still keep the law. Let's get Matthew 548. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the words of Christ. I believe that. I believe he's a God, but he's not the most high God. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. That's cool. That's cool. I think we have different understandings on what that means, right? But let's get Matthew 548. I get that. And we, we can go to Genesis and go show you in Genesis. Yeah. And I can go to Genesis and show you that happening. But 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 real quick, real quick, you went to watch watch this. I get it. Let's get what Christ said about the law being done away with, right? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He about to... Hey, hey, just don't take the shirt off, brother. No, no, it's the word. Hey, listen, brother, brother, just promise that you don't have your shirt off today, okay? Just don't take your shirt off. He's talking about first up. So let's read. Matthew 5, 48. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Hold on, the word coming out, right? So let's get the words of Christ. Be ye therefore perfect. Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So how do I be perfect? Give me uh, Psalm 19 and 7. What, is, what does it mean to be perfect? I don't believe in ghosts, brother. I believe in the spirit. Yeah, I believe in the spirit. Yeah, that's a white man is Satan, right? Hey, it ain't me. It's the Most High, brother. It's the Most High, brother. No, that's all praises, right? So let's talk about this, right? Where we at? Psalm 19 and 7. He said, Jesus Christ said, be ye therefore, he said, be perfect.
Okay. Oh, praise uh -huh. uh -huh. On the secret place of the Most High, right? Can we get this out real quick? They was gonna let you still smoke. They don't love you though. Right, right. But the scripture says what? He that endure to the end shall be saved. Don't it say that? And listen, we talking to the game bangers, brother. They just talking. They just reading from a cell phone. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you something. Now Christ said, Quentin, Christ said, be ye therefore perfect, right? Right, watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. What does it mean, what does it mean to be perfect? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord. What? The law of the Lord. What? The law of the Lord. Brother, another one, brother? Come on, brother. God, yeah. All oh, praise. Give the brother a hand. Hey. Oh, okay, we love you, brother. We love you for what you got to do. Stop on them, brother. We, hey, we breaking curses out here. Hey. Hallelujah! That's from the white man, right? And we say death to the white man. Now listen to this, listen to this real quick. quick. Real quick. It said the law of the Lord is perfect, right? Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. And that's what we just saw, a conversion right here. You put the cigarettes out right here on the Lord's day, man. That's the poison, brother. All right? It said the law of the Lord is perfect, right? Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. What is sure? What is sure? The testimony of the Most High God is sure. This is a test. This is your testimony right here, brother. Putting them cigarettes out is your testimony, brother Quentin, that the law of the Lord is perfect and that you can do all things through Christ, brother. Only if you put your mind and your heart to it, brother. Right? All praise to the Most High. Hey, sis, you see this right here, sis? Sis, listen, listen, look, look right here, sis. Look at the cigarette on the ground, sis. Look at that. You can do the same thing, sis. The brother just did that. You don't. That, that's gonna kill you, though, sis. You don't care? Okay, so let's 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 talk about it. We can do that. Give us a minute, right? And look, everybody ain't gonna do it, right? But you did it, brother. Everybody ain't gonna do it. All praises, right? Hey, listen, I'm about to get the next. One. I just, I just want to say to the world that, well, it's time to stop playing, man. Most high Jesus, whoever you believe in, I was taught that if you don't stand for something, you will fail for everything. This world cares nothing about us, man. The only thing these people want is your money, man. They want, they want your mind. They want your spirit. They want, they want to destroy you, man. We go on in these clubs and start walking up here getting drunk. We go up in here, man, drugging, man. This is not what God told the human being to be like. The brother, whoever, the white man, whoever. I'm just saying, let's come together, man. And, you know, and, 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 and he called Jesus a wine Bible, and, and, and John didn't even come eating. John came, John, 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 you know what I'm saying, brother? You know what I'm saying, brother? Yes, sir, brother. Hey, that's some good words from the brother right here. Hey, y'all give Brother Quentin a hand, man. All right, man. Hey, <laughs> God. hey listen. Hey, these nights get, get crazier and crazier. Hey, listen, hey, but listen, with that, I want to give all praises going out to your Howard Bosch ship and Howard Shine. Hey, y'all come in the next time with God and the speaker. Brother, bring it out. Right, we say, Kwame Ashala, man. Hello, y'all.